Hi everyone, my name is Heather McElwain. On March 12, 2013, Candlewick Press published a book called Look Up. It's bird watching in your own backyard. Now, this book is for ages 8 and up. It has 64 pages and it is wrote and also illustrated by Annette LeBlanc Kate. Now, this book won the Cyber Medal in 2013. This book is pretty much the know-how to about birds. You can see the illustrations are really great. It starts off on the front, how it's got the birds and the dialect into the actual word bubbles. And it's even on the back of the story as well. Now, as soon as you open up the first page, it's even got what do you need to watch birds and the bird watching do's and don'ts. It even tells you what you need to bring and what not to bring when you go to watch birds. Like I said, it, it is so, the illustrations are so amazing. Like you can see, he, when he's drawing the birds out on the paper, what the birds look like, the anatomy of the birds. Um, you can also see when he has the actual birds on the paper, the illustration, it shows parts of the birds too. Now this book, it's also a humor book. Now in the dialect, in the dialect bubbles, sometimes it's little jokes. Like in this one, yeah, like us little brown wrens here. You might think we all look alike, but we really don't. This bird is talking to these birds. Now I know, I know technically birds don't talk to each other, but for children that is such a big thing because it keeps the kids entertained in the story. You want something that's going to draw their attention. It's not straight facts. It's something that's going to keep them entertained. And that's why also the pictures come in because they see it. But kids can learn about how, because I know every kid knows what a bird is. They've seen it. And nine times out of ten when they see a bird, they're usually telling you, look, there's a bird, there's a bird. So this way when the kids see a bird, they can say, oh, that's a blue jay or oh, that's another type of bird because they remember seeing it in the story. Now in this story, there's a page in here. Let's see. Give me a second. Let me find this page for you. It has a rainbow page right here. So this page, in this story, it has a rainbow color page. And it goes through, and it has an extra rainbow of the colors, and it separates the birds into different colors. And it's talking about the different colors and the different types of birds in that color. So I think an activity would be, well, first the child needs to pick a color. Pick their favorite color of the rainbow. After they pick their favorite color, have them go through and say, oh, I like the rose-breasted grub speak the best. Or, you know, I like the blue jay or the pinion jay. Or, you know what, if you like this, if you like the purple or the violet, it could be the purple granolin. I mean, it just all depends. And have them maybe draw that, that bird out. Maybe have them write the facts about it so they can say, this is my favorite bird. This is the one I like the most. Have them learn about the new birds and learn their habitats. Learn what they eat, what they don't eat. And that's what this book goes through to tell you. It tells you how to distinguish between the different types of birds, what their habitats are, what they eat, what they don't eat, where they live, where they can't live. And, and that's the whole thing with kids is they learn so much. Like the spiders we learned about earlier, if the kids already know that information, like they know about birds, they know about spiders, it's going to want them to be entertained so much more because they're going to want to tell you about what they know and compare what they know to the story without them even realizing half the time they're doing it. So this book, I definitely recommend. Yes, it is a little long. That's why ages is eight and up. So you might have to read it to kids a little older or have them read it. But it's definitely something I recommend you reading them. Thank you.